I'm sure you've gathered by now, I am back once again at the Emirates Stadium. I know I've become a bit of an Arsenal channel lately, that will change. I promise my next game will have nothing to do with Arsenal. <laughs> but I could not come to this game because I've been a big fan of everything. I believe it is uh, perhaps Knjeld Knudsen. I probably butchered that. But everything he's done with this Bodo Glimt team, even though most of the people at the Emirates, they probably won't, have, won't know anything about Bodo Glimt, or very little anyway. Uh, I was just speaking to a couple of fans. And they said that they cannot believe that they're here, even just playing at this stadium is the victory for them. Probably their biggest game in their history. Uh, I think Roma might contest that, and that would be fair enough. But either way, you know, it's a, um, it's a magnificent achievement for them to be there. Uh, so hopefully they get to enjoy themselves and they've come out in full force as uh, I'm sh hoping you've been able to sort of tell and I'm sure we'll be able to hear them as well even though I'm going to be on the complete opposite side of the ground to them because yeah they've been an unbelievable force the last two seasons from absolutely nowhere to back-to-back -to -back titles in the elite Serum. unfortunately they won't be retaining their title they're quite a way behind Mulder because uh, it's a summer league they've not got long to go yet in the campaign but the sound was absolutely you know they were they were the only people singing on the tube it was brilliant to see um i think i'm walking past the away end now where they're going to be actually or where they're being herded into anyway but yes yeah, i'm just excited to see what happens today um hoping for a good one because you know um you always do whenever you're at a game, but ultimately an Arsenal victory, which is the most important thing. But it's an absolutely momentous occasion for the club, Bordeaux Glimpse, back to back games against Arsenal, even if it isn't the Europa League, when they very, very nearly, they were injury time away from, you know, getting a getting a spot in the Champions League group stage which would have been absolutely unbelievable in fact here we go listen to the man I've got here ridiculously early not entirely by design but look at this with over an hour till kick off the Bobby Glimt end is already pumping Biggest game in their history, can you blame them? In fact, they're doing a song to the Mikhail Arteta song. Kiel Knudsen. So for a little bit of context of maybe why this is such a amazing achievement that Bola Glimps are here, Bola Glimps are nowhere near the biggest side in Norway. That would be either Rosenberg or Mulder. I'll let you in the comments um, argue that one out. But they are nowhere near, I'd say probably Lillestrøm and Valregen. That's just off the top of my head, a bigger sides in Norway than Bola Glimps. But they've done it through largely academy players. They've won back-to-back -back titles. They've now got a couple of superstars, like Amal Pellegrino for the, the Elite Serie, and it's a far too good player. Uh, if you play the Elite Serie in Fantasy, which is a good game to sort of tide you over the summer while Fantasy Premier League isn't going on, it's, um, you know, he's uh, like a must captain every week. He's just unreal. Um, and him, along with Hugo Vedlesen, um, Ulrich Saltnis, and if, um, if he plays, Ola Solbecken, who of course uh, Celtic will know all about. Uh, they're the real threats for this Bordeaux Glimpse side, who I have no doubt in my mind are going to attack Arsenal from the off with no fear whatsoever. They're going to be brave. They're going to go for this game and they're going to try and get the win. Um, I doubt they'll be able to do it. I think um, I haven't seen teams out yet. I mean, this is how early I am. <laughs> the teams aren't even out yet, I don't think. But. Um, you know, it's it's going to be really fun. I expect those guys that they're singing over an hour before. They'll be singing after the game, whatever the result. I think the manager's gone over.
Oh, there he is. They're just excited to be here, and I, I can't blame them one bit. I'm really excited for this game, actually. As soon as I saw that they were going to make bare minimum in the Europa League, I was like, if they come to England, I'm going to that game. And it just happened that they were playing, they're playing my side, so I, I moved heaven and earth to get a ticket for this game. Apparently it's sold out, we'll see. I've been to midweek games before, and it very much was not the case. So we'll see, but yeah, very exciting. Uh, for them and for me uh, can't, cannot wait um, as for Arsenal we're up there with the favourites for this competition of course also Manchester United as far as I know are losing away at Omni and Nicosia which is a terrible result if that stands there'll be two defeats in their first three games so struggling to even get out of the group as it stands Manchester United um, you know it's, um, it's a funny old mistress the Europa League you never quite know what you're going to get the favourites rarely ever do that well. Like, they get knockout stages, they don't usually win it. Uh, Sevilla are doing a good job of getting knocked into it, but they're not as good as they have been. That's a tangent. Anyway, um, obviously, we're going to play reserve side. I would have thought mostly keep a couple of first teamers in there just for safekeeping as well as some on the bench. But it's almost certainly going to be a weaker side than we would normally field. Um, but, you know, we await all that information at the moment so we'll see what happens I, um, I'm just going to enjoy the Border Glimp fans until then really so Border Glimp have actually played in Great Britain this season on their way here in the Champions League qualifiers they played Linfield the uh, the champions of Northern Ireland uh, lost 1-0 away and then uh, came back to win 7-0 um, in the home leg so they uh, generally they don't travel very well you know like the famous victories when they got to the uh, Europa, the Conference League was it the quarterfinal or the semi-final I think it was the semi-final they got to wasn't it we were not talking about Roma, um, but they got a good draw at home, and of course the six-one happened at home as well. So they're a team that score goals, but they also concede goals. Um, and that's been a big problem this season for them. Um, I'm just excited. <laughs> I can't stop talking about them because I've been following this story, you know, since they won their, since they, yeah, really since they won the first title. They actually romped it both seasons, and uh, they've every right to be excited.
time, 2 0 to the Arsenal. It's been fairly easy in truth. One of those things where once the first goal came, there was only going to be more. So hopefully, more of the same in the second half because they're kicking my head. But yeah, it's not a. Not really seen much of Bodder Glimp so far. Matt Turner's not a shot to save. So uh, we'll see what um, we'll see what comes in the second half. win for the Arsenal as we expected. Um, so some nice football at times from Bodder Glimpse but they didn't really threaten the Arsenal goal at any point. Uh, some lovely goals. I think the um, the man that's for me was probably Fabio Vieira. He was really, really lively, made the second, scored the third to clinch the win. It just looks like an excite very exciting signing. I can't wait to see more of as the season goes on. Uh, on to Sunday against Liverpool now, so hopefully another win then. But I won't be there, unfortunately. So goodbye to the Emirates for a while, probably. Though you never say never. 3-0 uh, to the Arsenal. But um, hopefully the Border Glimp fans enjoyed themselves. Just kept singing throughout, so fair play to them for that, even though they were outclassed from the start, really against the rotated Arsenal side. So as I'm on the train back, having sort of reflected on everything that happened, I mean, first of all, the atmosphere at the Emirates is like I've never heard before. I don't know if it's ever been quite as pumping as that. We were singing throughout, which is sort of why I wasn't, I was filming as much, especially in the second half, trying to get the team going again. Because uh, it was a it was a flat second half performance. I'm not gonna lie. We were, you know, they played like they were two 0 up, and I think both sides were happy with two 0 the final score. Arsenal obviously got one and had a couple of chances after that. Uh, had more, but really, you know, I think both sides were happy with happy with the score line. Um, Border glimpse still have a good chance at coming second. Bare minimum third, I think. Zurich are dead last, especially seeing the PSV being 5 1 on their own patch. It's pretty embarrassing to be honest. Although PSV are a good team, we have yet to play them. But two played, two wins. I forgot that it was the first home game of the European campaign, so it made it extra special that I happened to be there. Yeah, just a good result for the Arsenal. On to Liverpool on Sunday, as I believe I mentioned before. But yeah, it's. Uh, Onwards and upwards, uh, great result, good fun. Uh, Good is definitely, I mean, good luck getting a ticket if you can. Head head to the head to the Emirates. It's the it's a good time to be an Arsenal fan. That's all I can say. So until next time, goodbye. From the southeastern train, heading to Kent. <laughs>